set aside for a moment that Joe Rogan wouldn't even be a neutral moderator of such a debate. He's endorsed anti-vax nonsense many times before. But you just can't, in general, debate with conspiracists and loons. You can't debate whether up is down, hot is cold, black is white. They never change their minds, and they win just by you agreeing to share a platform with them. What's the expression? Never wrestle with a pig, you both get dirty, and the pig gets 40,000 new followers on Twitter. Joining me now is Dr. Peter Hotez himself. Thank you for coming back on the show. It's a shame it's under these circumstances. I understand you've been hit with a deluge of harassment over the last 24 hours. There was even uh, some crazy people who tracked you down and accosted you in person at your home and shouted at you. How are you doing after being called out by the world's richest man and America's most powerful podcaster? Well, you know, the the attacks from the anti-vaccine lobby do come in waves and and this time though it's uh it's it's been one one of the uh, one of the tougher ones cuz as you point out of physical stalking and and the incessant threatening emails and 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 the stuff online is just total wackadoodle um and let's face it when you have RFK and Junior and Joe Rogan and Elon Musk all tag teaming those trace hombres at the same time. I mean, that that probably includes just about yeah. every follower on Twitter. So it's it's it was uh, a pretty pretty overwhelming.